Well, hello and welcome back to another tutorial with the Essentials Club. If you are new around here, I am Maddie and we are all about making what you can and ethically sourcing the rest. Today we're going to be jumping into a tutorial to show you how to thrift flip an old men's button up shirt into this cute top. Essentially what we do is trim the bottom half off and then use that to turn into these strap sections and then also trim open this top area and then create tunnels on either section to then add those straps into and gather it all around. It is actually one of those pieces that I almost gave up with it just wasn't looking the best halfway through as soon as I started adding these straps and to gather it all up totally changed to one of my most worn pieces that I honestly haven't taken off for most of this summer so I'll talk you through that stage when we get to that so that you don't give up as well what you'll need to get making your own top like this is a thrifted men's shirt I would suggest something not too tight you want something that is kind of loose fitting obviously if it's too oversized that means there's a bit of taking in so it's got to be that perfect medium where it's a bit oversized not too large not too small you can play around with the patterns that you find I was so lucky to score this like pinstripe purple style so some pins, a matching thread to the shirt that you find, a clean paintbrush or something long and thin and similar to that. You'll also need some fabric scissors and then some fabric chalk is also optional as well. And then your trusty old sewing machine. So let's jump into the steps of making this cute top. For step one, we need to figure out the shape you'd like for the front and plot out the key points. Pop on the shirt and find out where you'd like the top section to sit across your chest area. Place a pin in this exact spot as the gathering will lift it up higher and balance out the amount that is taken away during the hemming process. If that doesn't happen to make sense, simply just place the pin where you want it to be for the final garment. Next, figure out where you'd like this top to finish at the bottom and then add two inches of seam allowance. Take the top off and trim from the top pin curved up towards the shoulder. Ideally, keep about one inch from the sleeve seam, then across the back and curving around that neckline one to two inches from the collar. If jumping straight into cutting isn't your thing, you can simply just mark this out with some fabric chalk first. Then finally, cut across the waist area one straight line from the designated pinpoint for the front and the back. So from this bottom section we've just cut off, we'll divide the straight sections evenly by four and trim these. They will then become our straps we use for the drawstring feature. Ideally you want these to be a minimum of one to two inches wide each, so if you can't achieve that with this bottom section, just use some other material to trim pieces that are at least one to two inches wide and can wrap twice around your waist. I find if the width is any smaller than this, it'll be too hard when it comes time to flipping them good sides out. Next we need to prepare the straps. We should have four pieces all up, so let's focus on two first and lay one with the good sides facing up and then the second with the good side down so they are now facing each other. Next, sew along one short end to join them, which will help make it one extended strap. Repeat this for the second pair and now you should have two long straps. We'll then fold these good sides facing and sew as close as we can to the raw edge along one short side and then the full length and leave the other short end open. Then repeat this for the second one. Now grab your clean paintbrush, place the tip of this at the end we sewed closed and then we'll move the fabric around so it helps it to open a bit and begin to push the closed end through this tunnel. Continue until this ends up on the other side and pull it all so the good sides are now revealed and all you can see is a clean seam. Repeat for the second one and then on the short ends that are still raw just tuck the edges inwards and sew that closed. Before moving ahead remove any buttons from this centre section. Also, you can choose to leave the center section with the original finish or trim it back and create a clean hemmed edge. If you do choose the latter option, it just means you might lose a bit of width. So it's totally up to you and what you think will work best with the shirt and fit. Just as a side note, I did leave mine as it was. Then it's time to focus on the two raw edges of the waist and the neck area that we just trimmed and fold a single hemline about a quarter of an inch all the way around these edges. Pin this in place, then sew one line to secure it. Now we have these straps ready to go, we can use them to determine how large this final hem around the neck and the waistline should be, as this would be the tunnel that we end up threading these through. So lay down your shirt and begin to fold this second hem, ensuring that it's wide enough for the strap. You can double check this by laying the strap on top and allowing at least an extra half an inch for sewing space. Once you're happy with that, pin it in place, then sew one line to secure it. 
As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this is the part I almost gave up on as it can become quite a mess around this rounded edges of the neckline, but trust me, once you add the gathering, any weird looking edges become hidden. Sometimes sewing hemlines on a curved edge can be a bit tricky, so if you're worried at all about this and you want to prevent any weird bunched up areas, I'd suggest starting at the back centre and working your way along one edge to the front and then going back and starting again from the centre back and working your way around to the other front edge. Make sure to leave the edges of these hems open ready to insert the strap into. So to create the final gathered effect we'll place a safety pin on the end of the strap and insert this into the hem tunnel edges that we just created. Begin to gather the fabric over the safety pin and continue pushing around until you reach the other side. Evenly distribute the gathering and the amount of strap that hangs out the front and then my friend you have a cute new top to try on. The gathering around the neckline can determine how it sits at the front so if you try it on and it happens to be a little bit cramped around the arm area you can just play around with moving it until it looks and fits how you want. So if you did happen to follow along this tutorial I hope you did enjoy it and please tag me at the essentials club on insta as I'd love to see how it turns out. Time to play around with styling this new top and add it to the collection of DIY essentials. 